Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the third Women in Music Columbus concert this spring, um, also kind of co-hosted by Otterbein University. Um, my name is Jennifer Merkowitz. I am a coordinator of the Call for Scores for Women in Music Columbus and also a professor at Otterbein, so happy to welcome you here today. We are very excited about this program because it includes a few pieces from our Call for Scores um, that were originally scheduled to be performed two years ago in spring of 2020. Um, and obviously we were not able to make that happen, but we've gotten a lot of the pieces that were supposed to happen. Um, we were able to um, organize those for you this spring. So a few of the pieces that you will see stars next to were from the Call for Scores. Um, we're also really excited to have a world premiere of a piece by Jerry Casey um, performed by Women in Music Columbus members. And um, also on the program, we're happy to welcome one of our scholarship winners. Uh, Women in Music Columbus um, has a scholarship program to encourage young musicians. And um, today we'll have a performance from Victoria Phillips on the viola, who um, was the uh, junior honorable mention for the Young Artist String Competition. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. Thank you so much. Welcome, Maria.
Even friends move on. And the world is so much bigger than me. I find myself thinking of the word ghosts as I look up tonight. It's 10 p.m. in outer space. Driving forever into stars. Nothing can stop me. what echoes are made of. Somewhere, right now, Jupiter is swallowing nothing again and again. And again.
even friends move on. And the world is so much bigger than me. When did you realize you weren't home? I walk back to my car.
Thank mm -hmm. you.
say something really quick about uh, these pieces. Because I, I stumbled across Paul Lawrence Dunbar in college um, by accident, as you know one does as a composer. I went up to the library and went to the poetry section and looked for really, really, really old books because I wanted it to be in public domain. <laughs> and I found this book that looked super old, cracked it open, and it was just lyrics. I mean, these poems are just so lyrical. Um, you know, and then I, I looked up this poet who had a very short life, but for how short it was, was just incredibly prolific. John Barr wrote hundreds of poems, uh, short stories, um, even a, a musical, actually, that premiered on Broadway. It was the only uh, black, all-black cast on Broadway at that time. Uh, was born to two uh, former slaves from the South who moved up to Dayton, Ohio. So he is our, our resident uh, poet. Um, and I, I also fell in love with, he has two distinct dialects of poetry. He had the traditional English, very tail end of the Romantic period style. And then he also wrote a lot of poems in Southern African American dialect, which he would have grown up hearing his parents uh, sound like that. And these poems are just brilliant. They really lend themselves to uh, composition. And I wanted to share these with you again today. A song is but a little thing, and yet what a joy it is to sing in all And when at eve I long for rest, when cows come home along the bars, and in the fold I hear the bell, as night the shepherd herds his stars, I sing my song and all is well. There are no ears to hear my lays, no to lift a word of praise, but still with faith and faltering, I live and love and love and sing. What matters yon unheeding throng? They cannot feel my spirit spell, since life is sweet and love is long. I sing my song. And all is well. Sometimes the sun and kindly heart, my God, makes a desert spot. Sometimes a blight upon the tree takes all my fruit away from me, and then with throes of bitter pain. Rebellious passions rise and swell, but life is more than fruit or grain, and so I sing and all is well. The moon has left the sky, love, the stars are hide and night. seem that man should wake to sing love while made in sleep and dream them care may not molest love nor stir them from their slumber though midnight finds the swain love still halting o'er his numbers oh, oh, oh.
nature's poets wake love, why should a man be singing? What's the use of folks a frowning when the way's a little rough? Frowns lay out the road for smiling. You'll be wrinkled soon enough. What's the use? What's the use of folks a sighing? It's an awful waste of breath. And a body can't stand wasting what he needs so bad in death. What's the use? What's the use of even weeping? Might as well go long and smile. Life our longest, strongest arrow only lasts a little. information about Julia Seeholzer, but I wanted to also add, uh, she wrote quite a bit of very eclectic music, including things for very unique instrumental combinations. Um, I believe this is the only sax quartet that she has written. Um, she states that much of her influence is from color. Certain intervallic relationships conjure specific shades, which in turn dictate the direction of a piece. This piece takes its title from the geometric figure that consists of four connected semicircles.
next piece we're going to play <clears throat> is by Dosha McKay. She's actually written many things, but I discovered her when I was researching women composers for saxophone quartets. Um, Invasion of Clowns popped up, and we thought it was a really neat piece to play. Um, according to the composer, this piece invaded her mind and demanded attention when she was trying to compose a more serious piece. She describes Invasion of Clowns as an allegory of life as a circus and the demands placed on us by others. Um, we're going to go right into Stella by Starlight. Everybody knows that tune. It was written for the 1944 movie um, The Uninvited, which actually I don't ever remember seeing it. But, um, it became a standard recorded by many people afterwards. Uh, Charlie Parker, the legendary saxophonist, he recorded the first version of it in a jazz context. It was arranged for saxophone quartet by Lenny Niehaus, alto saxophonist and arranger for Stan Kenton, and also a prolific award-winning composer.
Even friends move on. And the world is so much bigger than me. Did you realize you weren't home? I find myself thinking of the word ghosts as I look up tonight. It's 10 p.m. in outer space. Driving forever into stars. Nothing can stop me. its music. It's what echoes are made of. Somewhere, right now, Jupiter is swallowing nothing, again and again. And again.
Even friends move on. And the world is so much bigger than me. When did you realize you weren't home? I walk back to my car. <laughs>